Good morning. We're glad that you are with us this morning. We are here at the First United Methodist Church in Louisa, and we are having a joint service. The Louisa First and the Louisa United Methodist Churches are, are joining our hearts and our spirits together as we share in this worship service this, uh, today. A uh, few announcements um, for the First United Methodist people. Just remember that there are no activities in the building uh, for right now. We want you to, to be safe and to stay healthy. And we are working uh, on when we will be opening up our church building itself. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, it won't be... Uh, Right away, we have some things that we have to do, some guidelines to follow, but it is coming. Uh, tomorrow, the First United Methodist people um, were recording this on a Saturday, so tomorrow on Sunday, we will be having our drive in worship uh, weather permitting, and I think it's going to be good, uh, as far as I can tell, uh, at 11 o'clock over at Young's Funeral Home parking lot. For the Louisa United Methodist Church, I uh, also uh, want y'all to, to stay healthy and to stay safe. Remember Pastor Dan's family in prayer and to remember to continue to be faithful in your giving. And we will talk about that in uh, giving in, in just a few minutes. So this is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it.
If you will join with me in our affirmation of faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sitted at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Father God, in the stillness of these few moments, 
We give you praise and we give you honor. And we come before you as humbly as we know how. Just to thank you. To thank you for this beautiful day that we have to celebrate who you are in our lives. To celebrate that we are your children. And that you love us. Without end, you love us. Father, just help us to open up our hearts before you. Help us to hide nothing, to confess all of our sins before you and repent of those sins and to allow you to come in and just wash our hearts clean. Father, may we come to you every day. May we grow in our worship of you. May we grow as your children in our faith. And Father, even when we have those moments of doubt, those moments of frustration, help us to be mindful that you are there and that we can tell you everything that is on our hearts. And you will not leave us nor forsake us. Father, we ask that you be with those who are sick. Be with Pastor Dan and his family and, and um, others who are at the hospitals or in the nursing homes or even in their own homes. Just be with them and guide them. Put your healing hand upon each one. Be with the doctors and the nurses and and those behind the scenes that are making such a big difference in our lives and keeping us safe. Father, we ask that you just continue to be with our president and the leaders of our country and help them, dear Father, in the midst of all this crisis and be with countries around the world that are still fighting this crisis and fighting this virus. Father, we thank you that you are here with us, that you are with those who are listening and watching. Be with our military men and women wherever they might be. Be with the missionaries, Father, in countries around the world. Father, we ask that you just uh, be with our speaker today. Just give him your words. And help us, dear Father, to listen. Father, just help us now to open up our hearts to you. And teach us, dear Father, to pray as you taught your disciples as we pray together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
our giving. We want you to, to, to continue to give to your individual churches and remember, uh, you know, in order to keep the church doors open, uh, whether we're here in the building or not, we still have ministries going on in each of the churches. And so we need your gifts and tithes and offerings to be, uh, we want you to be uh, thankful in your giving for the first um First United Methodist Church folk, you can bring it to the church, bring it to the parsonage, or you can bring it to the, to the drive-in worship services, or you can mail them. Um, mail them to PO Box 763 and here in Louisa. And then for the uh, Louisa United Methodist Church, we have your address, mailing address here, um, 816 Pine Hill Road. PO Box 26, Louisa, or consider giving online on your website. You have that capability, uh, and the address is there at the bottom, L-U-N-C at Louisa United Methodist Church dot org. And one of the good things about recording this, you can always stop uh, as you're watching and get the addresses uh, of both of the churches and write them down if you don't already have them available. So just remember to, to give and to be and to be faithful. You can join us at home and singing There's Within My Heart a Melody. Oh, 
I will ask that uh, Brother Eddie Cobell uh, come. He is uh, he's going to be speaking and uh, preaching for us today. So uh, I'll ask him to come and share the word. Uh, if that's for you. Thank you, Pastor Tammy. It's a pleasure to be here this morning. Uh, and, uh, just one thing before we get into the word. Does anybody know what amen please, uh, means? The definition of amen means I agree. When a uh, preacher says amen, uh, you say amen back means I agree with you uh, now let's uh, suppose that uh, it's late at night you get up and uh, out of bed and it's always your little pinky toe that you stump on the uh, footboard and uh, I'm gonna say amen <laughs> And then another thing, uh, I don't know if you've witnessed this or not, but uh, these trailer pitches are sticking in the uh, truck and you don't know it's there and uh, it hits you right below the knee and you say, I hope you say amen. <laughs> amen? <laughs> amen. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's good to be here and uh, like Pastor Tammy said, Let's be in much prayer for Brother Dan and Pastor Tammy, your dad too. Uh, I know what uh, you're going through. I've been through this before, and uh, you have my prayers and thoughts. Uh, this morning we're going to be reading from uh, Ephesians uh, fourth chapter, starting at the seventeenth verse. This I say, therefore, testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk vanity of their mind. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over to latchiousness, to work all uncleanness and greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus. That ye put off concerning the former con conversion of the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed, renewed in the spirit of your mind, and you put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speaking every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that steal, stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearts. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all the bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. Paul was preaching to the Ephesians here, and uh, he had some good words, and this is something we can live by. Uh, go back to the 17th verse. He said, uh, there I say for it, and testify the Lord that he henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. 
uh, were to be different. We're not to walk with others, especially after we've uh, uh, received Christ's blessing. Uh, you know, other people may walk completely different. We don't have to walk that way. And that's wonderful that uh, we don't have to do that. Uh, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that he is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Uh, Jesus taught us uh, to love one another, to uh, respect each other. And uh, we just have to do these things for, in order to seek the kingdom of God. Who being past feeling have given themselves over to lashiveness to work all our goodness and greediness. Thinking from the scripture, the world then was close to what it is now. Uh, people were doing all sorts of things that was uh, contrary uh, to the belief that Jesus taught and that's because uh, they hadn't received Jesus. Uh, surely at that time I know that uh, Jesus would, had uh, taught and the word had spread but the people hadn't believed. Because it says, but you have not so learned Christ. Once we learn Christ, things are different. If so be ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. We have heard. We've been taught. We know. Uh, it doesn't mean we're not uh, above sin, but we are uh, Christ's people and we should uh, act like Christ's people. To give you an example, we need to be uh, happy people, uh, smiling people, uh, Pastor or preacher was driving down the road and the little boy said, uh, Daddy, is that you a Christian? He said, what, I, what do you mean by that, son? He said, well, he's got such a long face. Uh, you know, we need to really uh, be a happy people. Uh, there's everything can uh, bring us down, but in the end, uh, we're going to rejoice. And I'd rather have a good time as a bad time, anytime. Okay, yeah. That you put, I forgot where I said, I'm sorry. Uh, if so be that you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus, that you put up concerning the former conversation, the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. A lot of people, uh, the language is not right. Uh, and I said people, I mean uh, those that don't know Christ. Their, their language is terrible. Uh, and I feel like that when uh, a person is uh, that kind of language, they're, uh, they're not educated in the word because uh, Profanity and all of this is, uh, there's no room for it because uh, we need to work on our, uh, our uh, word skills and uh, produce words that, uh, that don't uh, tear somebody down or they're not of uh, foundation. And this is part I like. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. How many heard the song? Uh, I know you have. Uh, you take off the old coat and put on the new. I love that song. And uh, that's time uh, we do. We need to burn that old coat. Uh, just get rid of it and put on the new one. Uh, good white coat for, for Jesus. Wherefore, putting away lying, speaking every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. What happens when we tell a lie? 
we have to tell another one, don't we? And then another, and another. Or confess that we have a uh, total lie, but and ask for God's forgiveness. But people then would lie against one another uh, to uh, have a personal gain, and it's still carried on today. Politics is a good example. But let's, uh, let's just say uh, we don't need to do this anymore. Uh, and it's a habit. Uh, it's a bad habit. Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your way. Is it okay to be angry? Jesus was angry when he uh, threw the money changers out of the temple. Uh, at that time, he, they came to the Passover, and these people were uh, they were taking advantage of the of the people because they were had uh, animals for sacrifice for sale. Well, these animals probably wasn't the quality they should have been, and they were. Uh, uh, charging the people uh, an extra, a, a tremendous amount for that and probably skimming a little bit of the, uh, of the money off there too. And Jesus seen this and he, uh, he drove them, he, he drove them the ox and the sheep uh, and the money changers out of the temple. And uh, evidently he done it with good uh, intentions and nobody argued with him. Uh, he done it with uh, with uh, authority, and uh, that's the way he spoke. Uh, but I guess that's why we say today uh, we don't uh, exchange money in the church. But uh, that's not what that means, because in, when he drove the money changers out, they were uh, they were taking advantage of the people, and uh, he seen that. And don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. How many people have prayer time? Uh, I do. Mine's right before I go to bed. And I like to cover the day uh, and ask blessings uh, for my family, uh, for my friends, my pastor, the church, uh, everybody that uh, has a need. I pray that it's uh, taken care of. Uh, and that's the time we, the song said, Be still, no God. Uh, we need to uh, do that daily. And if you don't do that, try. Uh, it can really uh, bless your life. And you can understand uh, a lot of things that's happened and uh, will happen. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing in which is good, that he may have to give to him that need it. Uh, stealing must have been rapid uh, now or then, it is now, uh, because of things that's consumed people's lives. They have to steal in order to, uh, to uh, keep this up. But, uh, Stealing is something that uh, shouldn't happen. If anybody needs uh, food or whatever, uh, if, if I can possibly give it to them, I will. But uh, stealing food is taken away from others. <clears throat> if uh, somebody is stealing for hunger, uh, they need to uh, be recognized and to be fed. <coughs> Excuse me. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Lots of times people are talked about uh, before they, because they don't even know it. Uh, but let's just uh, say that the Lord will take care of those people uh, in due time. Uh, and give great and, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God whereby you are sealed unto the 
the day of redemption. Uh, if the Holy Spirit is gone, you're going to grieve it. If you've ever felt the Holy Spirit, you pray for it to come back. Uh, the Holy Spirit is what comes into our lives that moves us to, uh, to do things for God, to, uh, to stand up for Him. And uh, when the Holy Spirit does bless us, it's a wonderful feeling. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. When we uh, become Christians, uh, this uh, kind of nature is uh, to be uh, forgotten because uh, we're all different. We are all different, every one of us. Uh, but. If we're in Christ, we're all the same. I love this last one. And ye be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. I'm glad one day that he uh, chose to forgive me for what I was and uh, what I could be and uh, I just praise his holy name for that uh, I just love him for all uh, he is and Proverbs 15:13 uh, uh, says happiness makes you smile sorrow can crush you like I said earlier happiness is uh, the, one of the joys of being a Christian. Uh, we may not have uh, everything we want, uh, but I have everything I need. I've often said before, an old pastor told us one time, he said, that I'm just where God wants me. He said, if I was poor, I might be tempted to steal, but uh, if I had uh, money, I might uh, forget about the Lord. So I'm out there too. I'm just where I want to be and uh, uh, tickled uh, real good because uh, Christ is in my heart. Uh, this is just about all I've got, but uh, I'd like to touch on a little bit about spiritual gifts. Uh, there are spiritual gifts here. There's Brother Tanner uh, singing, uh, uh, Sister Rosie plays the piano. Uh, Pastor Tammy preaches the gospel. Uh, Butch has the gift for uh, electronics. Robin can sing. Uh, all these all these gifts are different, but they all come together for one reason, and that's for the edifying of the church. And uh, I just am grateful for what uh, these people do. And uh, and if you have a spiritual gift, use it for Him, and you'll be blessed. Uh, at this time, uh, this is all I have, Sister Tanner. I'm not a long speaker. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie. We appreciate the message. Uh, that you give to us, Tanner, if you'll come and, and lead us, we're going to sing one verse of Trust and Obey.
We thank you for being with us today. We thank you for watching and tuning in. Hear now the blessing and the benediction. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and bring you peace. May this week, this day, you serve for Jesus. Father, we thank you for your love and mercy. Guide us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.